Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a scenario called Demolition Derby The Fairgrounds. And already things are a little bit different here. Normally we just have a little bit of text here, maybe a picture, but now we have options to choose from. So remember, this is a Demolition Derby, so the first option is the number of opponents. So we're going to say, how about seven opponents, which makes eight cars in total. Then we get to choose the type of car. So we have a few different categories, pigeon, luxury sports cars, compact cars, mid-sized cars, large cars, truck, pickup, vans, SUVs, and heavy semis. So we'll start this off with just mid-sized cars, a nice middle ground for things. And there are a couple of mods you can install that are compatible with this. They give you some demolition derby vehicles. I have those installed, so we're going to hit all mods. So we actually use those mods. And then we have another option over here that gives you a little bit more configuration options for the vehicle class. So we can say, Make all the vehicles just have basic derby configurations or pro derby configurations or just be stock, be stripped, and then a low-end configuration as well for a weaker computer. For me, I'm going to say give everything just normal derby configuration. And then we have a bunch of arenas we can choose from. We have free fall, concrete, grass, varied ground, oval, mud pits, and then oval dirt racing and concrete figure eight racing. We're going to start things off though with the concrete derby and then we're going to hit start and it takes a while for this to load up. So... If you're playing this on your own, just be patient. The game did not freeze. It just takes a second. And once it's done loading, it just starts you. It's not like a lot of things in BMG Drive where you could just load it and come back later. This one immediately into it, whether you like it or not, because there's no additional prompts there. So we're going to go ahead and try to do some destruction derbying. I'm going to do the strategy of drive far away and then reverse into people, except I can't because this dude's trying to actually hit me. I want to reverse into y'all. Stop hitting me. Oh, goodness. Everybody's hitting me. This is actually a lot better though than if you were to do something where you just tell the AI to chase after you because then they would only go after you. But here though, they actually go after each other. You see there's a pile of cars over there all fighting each other. And now they're distracted so I can back into them at high speeds hopefully. No, I can't get traction really. High enough speeds. 30 miles per hour right into that dude's corner. Didn't do too much. Hey, they just take my bumper? That dude just took my bumper. We also got like big beefy off-road tires which are completely useless here. It'd be useful in a lot of destruction derbies. But since this one's the concrete one, not exactly the best tire setup here. It's the pile of cars over there. How many of y'all are even in this thing? Like, are some of you broken? I can't quite tell. Hey, that dude just popped my tire because I was looking at those cars. Oh, wow. And I could feel it with these tires. When the tire pops, you know it. All right, it looks like they're all still moving just slowly. They're just kind of bumping each other very lightly. I'm going to change that with a bigger hit. 30 miles per hour. Here we go. Got that fool a little bit. Go for round two. Oh, no. Hello, other guy. Can you please get away from me so I can go for my round two? Thank you. And by the way, the skins and stuff, those are all from the mods I was saying that you can install. Like I said, there's a link. You can get them. So here we go. Backing into them. Big speeds, big speeds. Oh, don't mess me up here. Come on. Man, he got high speed backing up. Why can't I do that? He's just taking off right there. All right, we're still good to go, though. Car is... Not as badly damaged as a lot of theirs, I think. And eventually, people will be eliminated if they don't move enough. But everybody just keeps jiggling around in that pile over here. So we'll just keep piling into the pile. Got nothing else to do. We'll see how long my car can last this, though. I mean, I have a rear-wheel drive car. So these hits to the rear, eventually my rear drive shaft will break and I'll be done. I really don't care if I win or lose. I just want to have some good crashes happening here. Like, this dude's accelerating. Oh, I missed him. All right, somebody's been eliminated. Wherever Mayhem Mike is. Now, how do you know who's who? You don't. And trying to tell who's eliminated can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Like, you see, is it that guy who's not moving? Or is it that guy who's not moving? Or that guy who's not moving? We got, like, four cars who aren't moving. Okay, it's not this guy because he's moving. So we'll hit him. Let the other guy hit him too, right? Come on. Hit him! You lazy bum! We were going to teamwork on that dude. I do like the paint job on that guy. That pink one with the black? That looks pretty cool. All right, people are getting eliminated now. The ones who are immobile are finally out of it. And I see two cars that are just kind of bumping each other over here. I can hit them. Whoa, no! This is not the way it was supposed to go. My tires were too fat. They were too fat. Somebody flip me over. Come on, somebody flip me over. This ain't right. Come on, Pinky. Come on, Pinky. Get me upright. Oh, what are you doing? Just stop it in front of me. What a jerk. He teasing me now. Pinky. Pinky, please. No, Pinky! You've made everything a hundred times worse! All right, save the engine. Save the engine. We're going to turn the engine off and hope somebody flips me over. Because it's getting starved of oil. And I think I am going to be eliminated from this. And the AI could keep bumping into each other as long as they want. I got my big collisions. 
That was my goal. I didn't care if I won or lost. I got I wanted to see some big collisions and I got the big collisions. I'm waiting for it to actually eliminate me. Eventually it will. Unless people keep bumping me. Like every time I get bumped, I move a little bit and I think that might reset the counter. Ha! I beat Hawk, whoever Hawk is. Again, I don't know who's who. I'm assuming Hawk is maybe the yellow one? Because the yellow one looks dead now. No, he's still moving, isn't he? I don't know who Hawk is. Pinky is a little bit confused, though. There he goes. Hey, you got somebody. Good job, Pinky. All these guys over here I know are eliminated. My car. <laughs> How am I the only person who ended up flipping over? Like everybody else, they're a little dented up and they're still upright. Me. I'm upside down, guys. I'm still not sure why I haven't been eliminated, though. To be honest, I've never been eliminated before and I just assumed it would eventually eliminate me, but it's not. So what if we actually blow up the engine? Let's go ahead and let it blow up. I don't care. Maybe that'll make it get eliminated by force. Or maybe I just wait long enough for all these guys to wreck themselves and I win. I really don't know. I only played with this a little bit beforehand. Hey, that's more than I usually do in scenarios though. Usually with the scenario, I just hop into it and then we play it. Let me put this thing to neutral so it'll rev higher. There we go. Come on, rev yourself and blow yourself up. Shouldn't take long like that. My other cars are getting eliminated all over the place. I think that guy is finally eliminated there. So we got three other cars left. And I am number four, but I really should be eliminated already. No idea why I'm still here. All right, the engine is dead. Y'all have to eliminate me now. The engine is completely dead. Okay, I guess it's not going to eliminate me. So let's just go ahead and hit the reset button. And unfortunately, the reset does not reset you to the one you were just doing. You got to choose the settings again. It does save the settings, but if you hit start, you're probably going to get a different car unless you have a very specific vehicle. So how about we do the heavy semis and we'll say uh, free fall derby. And I see an error there. So I'm just going to do all vehicles, stock and modded and, and pro derby configs. Yeah, that looks good. Excellent. Oh, that's not fair. One dude has a plow attached to his. How is that fair? Oh, goodness. Three of them already went in the hole. Oh, I have a plow too. I just didn't notice it. Well, that's not fair. I shouldn't have a plow either. That's funny. I just didn't even notice it. I was so distracted by the other dude's plow. So yeah, me and the other guy, we're probably going to be the last ones left if I had to guess. Let's see here. Can I just push the other plow guy away though so I don't have to worry about him? Come on. Come on. Where's that torque when I need it? Yes. 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 Bye-bye. 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 There we go. He didn't want to fall off. Somebody else could have came up behind me and just completely ruined my chances, though. All right, green guy, I got a plow. You don't. You're done. Can't go very fast to push him off the edge, but I can go fast enough. There you go. No, 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 no. Don't you dare fall off. Stop it. I'm saying go in reverse. Okay, well, technically, I should be the winner because those guys have been stuck like that this whole time. And I'm still up here. Barely, but I am still up here. We can take a look at the carnage down below us, though. We got the other plow I pushed off. Green guy I pushed off. Lots of peeping going on as the trucks try to back up. Pile of trucks over here. Oh, one of them had, like, a carrier on it. Didn't even notice that. Going up top. These guys who are stuck inside of each other can't do nothing. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I'm hoping eventually everybody else just gets eliminated and then I win. Actually, let's just assume that's going to happen because there's no point in watching this. Absolutely nothing is happening because we're all stuck. So we'll start a new scenario. And on this one, we're going to do a different vehicle setup. We're going to do everybody gets a pigeon. There's going to be 17 cars. And we're going to say any kind of pigeon is fine. And the configuration is going to be basic derby config. And we're going to go to the oval dirt derby. Actually, let's do pro derby config just in case because dirt derby sounds like we might actually need the pro config. Okay, this one is probably going to lag. The audio already sounds really weird and wacky, so I don't expect this to go very well at all. But there are 18 pigeons here. Just pigeons all over the place crashing into each other. I'm just going to watch for a little bit, see what they do, and then eventually I'll go into the mix. Ooh, those two are stuck inside of each other. That's not good. Or is there a third even in there? I see a little bit of red, too. Apparently, Pink Pigeon, though, he's busy crashing into me, ruining my observation mode. Got some dudes with flames on them, like, oh yeah, you're so fast in your pigeon. I like that paint job for the pigeon. Oh, trash dude, you lost your trash. I actually just kind of like watching the AI do this. Is I like, just kind of cruise in circles. I get to see just all kinds of nonsense happening. Like, look at that guy bouncing all over the place. He's 
bouncing like mad. Right, maybe I should bounce a little bit. That looked fun. Oh, I didn't bounce nearly as much as he did. How did he do it? Well, I'm going on two wheels though. I'm gonna hit the trash can. Yep. All these cars around and I hit the trash can. Oh, Pinky over there just flipping over. Am I stuck on the trash can? Oh goodness, I am a little bit. There you go. All right, let's get into the mix then. Let's go ahead and crash into some of these dudes. Don't care about winning or losing one bit here, just like them big crashes. So right into that guy. Got him. I almost flipped two of them over. I flipped zero, but I almost flipped two. All right, going to get out of here, get up to speed and smash them again. Hopefully we can go like 30 miles per hour again. Looking good, looking good. I see my target. It's the black one right there. Got him. Ah, oh, he didn't flip over though. And you know, for a 30 mile per hour crash, there was not that much damage to my pigeon. Red guy. Oh, I'm good at popping them into two wheels, but once they're on the two wheels, they pop right back down. I need to pop them onto two and then they need to go onto zero. Like Pinky right there doing a roll. Red, you're here. My target, come on. Oh, he's got stabilizers. This dude cheating. He cheating. He got stabilizers. I can't tip that. It's not right. All right, Pinky though, they always seem to tip easy. So here we go. Oh, Pinky was stuck inside a fire guy. Well, I should just let them be. Kind of interestingly, nobody's been eliminated yet. Not even the two that are just stuck inside of each other. Unless I've been so distracted, I haven't noticed the text come up. Everybody's still good to go. It's probably a pretty good arena for the pigeons, actually. Just lots of space to do stuff without having any big elevation changes that might mess them up. Are right, we going to smack into the red dude right there again. Going to be like 40 miles per hour. Oh, no, nope, black guy came in the front of me. Okay. So the black guy with the green flames, he just popped in front of me and he got hit instead. Oh, come on, get out of the way. What does it say on the pink one right there, actually? It says something. Green box. Oh, okay. Do not litter. What is it, a trash can on the rear of this? Is that what it's supposed to be? That's weird. All right, we're going to get up to speed and we're going to hit another guy. Here we go. 40 miles per hour acquired. Searching for target. Searching for target. I can't find a good target from this angle. We're going to do another loop around. There's target, 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 target. Flame guy. Got him. And he's okay. How's my pigeon doing? It's all right, actually. For all those big crashes I've had, it is holding up perfectly fine. All right, flame guy is ready for the next impact. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to roll a little bit. And nobody's upside down, really. Like, compared to what I would expect it, I would think the AI driving pigeons, they would have all been upside down like 30 seconds flat. But only about half of them are upside down. It's really surprising. Whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't hit them because I almost went upside down. I uh, gotta get up to speed for my next impact. Ooh, my car's overheating a little bit though. I just noticed that. That is not good. Too many front impacts, I assume. Don't care. Gonna go for Eco Box guy. Get him. Get him. Flip. Flip. Oh no. I was the flip. I thought I was the flipper, but that was the flippy. All right. Somebody help me up. Somebody help me. I'm gonna turn off the engine to conserve the engine a little bit at least so it doesn't overheat too badly. Come on, you got like eight buzzing bees around me. I hear all their engines and none of them can get me. Aw, oh, boo, you guys stink. Well, I don't see me getting up by any... Wait, we're good, we're good, we're good. Start that thing back up. I thought AI just wasn't going to hit me, but that guy, he's nice. I really like Pinky now. Oh, uh oh, am I stuck in this guy though? That was one of those impacts that looked really awkward. I think we might be stuck. Give me your tailgate. Give me your tailgate. All right, this is a little bit of a glitch impact. So what we're going to do is we're going to just help things along a little bit by tearing off his tailgate and accidentally flipping my vehicle over. That was not supposed to happen. I just wanted to remove the tailgate so I could keep driving. There we go. Keep on going. Get some more pigeons. Green flame, you're going to be upside down. Nope. I need like a little itty bitty ramp on the front of this thing to push people onto their side because I cannot get under their vehicles to flip them. Here, I'll help you out a little bit, dude. Oh, never mind. Wait, yes, I did. I helped him out. He's now right side up. I am so polite. Okay, spin around and... Uh-oh, my pigeon just died. My pigeon just died. The engine overheated. That is the end of my pigeon completely. But if I wanted to, can I take over one of their pigeons? I haven't tried this, actually. Yes, I could. <laughs> That's so... Wait, maybe I can't. No, I can't. I can only watch. I thought I was for a second, but it was just a coincidence we happened to be both accelerating. 
Uh, so we'll go ahead and do another one of these at a, a different location. This time we're going to go ahead and do a little bit less cars. We're going to do 12 cars. How about we give everybody luxury sports cars for the configuration, basic derby, and then let's do the varied ground derby. Oh, look at that. We're the police. -y. That's probably illegal, isn't it? Taking a police car to a destruction derby. Yeah, let's not think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to back into these dudes. Frame rate's not the greatest here, but it's manageable. It's in the 30s. You know, that's cinematic 30 frames per second right there. Maxing out at 33, 35 miles per hour in reverse. Not too fast, but we got one impact going. We could spin around for the next one. I like this one with the very terrain and stuff. That's pretty good. There's a mud pit that that bolide is just completely stuck in as I coast right over it like it's nothing. Pretty sure mine has all-wheel drive makes things a little bit easier. And ooh, using the rear end of the car has not worked out to the greatest of uh, effects. The rear of my car is really busted up and I can't steer too well now. In fact, I might be stuck because I can't even put down power too well. Come on, get out of there. All right, well, I can just barely get this thing going through here. And oh my goodness, one of the cars has really crashed. <laughs> Which car did that? Is that like a tire of a car? I guess? I can't tell. But that's not supposed to be happening. And my car's broken anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and try this again. Oh, I got SBR4 this time. That's a little bit different. Is it rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? Let's see. I think it's an all-wheel drive one. Looked like it was spinning all the tires when we popped into the air right there. So I'm going to use the front of the car here because we have a rear-engine vehicle. So as long as I can accelerate, I'm fine. I just might lose the capabilities of steering. That's all. No big deal. You really got good hitting on that bolide, though. That was nice. Let's hit the other bolide. I am the bolide destroyer. Any bolide in my way will be destroyed. All right, we're going to back into here and get as much speed as possible. I want to make sure I can hit them at like 60 plus miles per hour. Here we go. This is going to be good. This is going to be a real good one. All the way, bolide. I want to get that dude. Aww. Well, it was a little disappointing because the bull I'd ruined everything. I like this map a lot, though. This is probably my favorite one. It just has that nice variable terrain where you can kind of get stuck in the mud pits, it seems like. And what? My car just died for a second. It was taking a nap. I don't know. It just wasn't doing anything after that impact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was tipping, though. Well, I got like a fender stuck in my wheel. I think that's what happened. Yeah, that's uh, messing things up a little bit. That front suspension is all ruined. And I think the front the front wheels are actually breaking because of that bumper inside of them. That sucks. Or maybe it's a spoiler. I can't tell exactly what it is. Yep, it is just destroying me from the inside out. This is cheating, you stupid bolide. First you get in the way and then you ruin my car. Like really ruin it. Oh wait, we're free. We're free. We can accelerate again. Sort of. We can't steer though. Oh. The one thing, though, is the AI doesn't seem to like to do the big collisions, I've noticed. Like, they are perfectly content just kind of sitting in a pile and revving their engines. To me, that is the most boring way you could possibly do a destruction derby. The fun way is you keep bashing at everybody and keep finding room to accelerate for the big crashes. That's the way I like to do it. And since I can't really steer at all anymore because my thing is broken, I think we might just have to give up once again. Unless I can pull the bumper out and it might fix it. I don't know. We're going to try that real quickly. So I know somewhere in here should be the bumper, right? Or did it fall out? Maybe it fell out eventually. So maybe it destroyed my car and then it fell out to terrorize another vehicle, I guess. Yeah, because like my steering is non-existent, basically. I tell it to go one way, it doesn't. I tell it to go the other way, it doesn't. I can try to just back up and hopefully I get near somebody. Oh, wait, it might work. No, it's not. Come on. Oh, I have a little bit of steering in reverse, I guess. All right, we're good to go. Kind of. I can't. I have a little bit of steering, as in I can't be accurate at all with the direction I'm going. Not at all accurate. Oh, come on. One more hit. One more hit. There we go. One more. One more. All right. Now I'm just going to be part of the pile who revs the engines up. Yeah, I'm happy doing this just like y'all is. Uh, anyways, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Now, there are some more places you can go and more classes as well. I kind of showed you them all at the start. Now, I didn't do anything with the racing because it doesn't seem to work quite right. So we'll go to the figure eight tracks so I can show you what I'm talking about. So it starts off like normal and everything looks like it's going to be okay, except one of the AI is pointed the wrong way. But you'll notice the checkpoints are just all over the place. Like they're appearing and disappearing at random, basically. And the lap counter doesn't work. 
So you could treat it just like a normal destruction derby and not care about things, but if you actually wanted to track the race progress, it doesn't seem like that actually works. That dude just spun me out right there. How rude of him. Well, we're lagging a little bit. Too much crashing going on here. Although I do like this one just for the driving because you have all these obstacles all over the place you're trying to avoid without ruining your car. And then also you're going to have cars coming at you from the other direction you have to avoid. Like just complete chaos basically because this is a small figure eight track. It's not like some other ones where you have big and you have room to do things. No, this is itty bitty track. Uh oh, I, I guess I'm going this way now because traffic just shoved me in this direction. Yeah, we're going this way for sure. I don't have a choice in the matter. Come on, stop pushing me. Oh, they really pushed me hard. My my wheels are really messed up. That rear one in particular it is just... Oh my goodness, it's back to the future right there. I don't think it's doing much at all in terms of touching the ground. So let's hit people. Nice hit. Come on, get around that corner. I know you can do it. And Oh, the lag is getting some serious here, man. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. What was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I was going to go ahead and try to hit somebody, but there was nobody there. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit somebody on the next time. Except there's nobody there again. I like hitting people on the intersection of the figure eight, but nobody's ever there. I don't like getting hit on the intersection of figure eight, which seems to always happen. There's a dude. There's a dude. Got him. Also, when I accelerate with this thing, it just kind of slides out of control. And what is that? What is that guy's trunk doing? Just all bouncing all over the place. Uh, anyways, though, I think that'll do it for this video. Till next time, that guy's driving the wrong direction. This has been YBR. I'll see ya.